what I like to do, it's not, what I like to do is show you guys how to find the rate of change No. All right, I'd like to find the rate of change represented in this table. So when you guys look at this, remember what rate of change is. All our representing, all we have as a rate of change is in a table, it's going to be our change in our y values, which are our dependent values, compared to the change in the x values. So what I need to do for this table is I need to say, how are our values changing? Right? Now this is different than when we did the rules. The rule was how do our x and y values relate to each other, right? Now how, what was their relationship? We're not doing that right now. What we're doing is how are things changing? So let's look at the first one. So if I want to say how are my y values changing? Remember when we say rate of change, all right, we need to find the change in our y values or our dependent values over the change in our x values. So I ask you, how are our y values changing? Are they going up or are they going down? You could say, let's just go from top to bottom. From top to bottom, are my values going up or down? Up. How many units are they going up? One. one. So you could say like it's like plus one, right? Over the change of, how, my, how are my units for my x's changing? plus 5. So the rate of change for this one is simply 1 fifth. Make sense? 